Welcome to episode ingine moto sana. Hii inaitwa Men Hacks. Mimi naitwa Gachin, rapper, content creator. So kumko on the previous episode nilikuwa kuambia characteristics of Gen Z in the dating scene. Sawa. So kama uje watch your episode, that was the previous episode and also come on watch e video sai na bado huja subscribe. Please consider subscribing because each and every day I'm posting a new video for you and also kumkaa kuniachia like anytime unabambika na video yangu. Sawa. So on this episode ya leo nenda kukuambia reasons why girls are run real in the dating scene sawa so join me on this episode and let's go one of the most unreal thing enye utapata mademo anafanya especially in the dating scene ni ile point enye probably ume invite over wewe uko ataka netflix and chill and then dema amekuja akiwa on her days una get and you know what that means so for me na unanga ikiwa unreal because at the end of the day utakuja hapo and because hizo vitu kuna venye zinafanyanga dema kuwe moody kuna venye tu zinafanyanga sikuwe comfortable as much una get so unapata una insist Yet chalia na kuambia by the way if you are under the weather ama kuna venye hauko fiti imagine by the way tunaweza postpone na get so anytime dem ana insist that anataka kukuja akiwa hivyo ama akiwa on her days imagine kuna venye inakanga so unreal because at the end of the day the reality is hautakuwa the same kama venye probably ile time yenye hauna na get kuna venye tu comfort yako iko ngi 100% unajua The other thing inaweza kuonesha pia madem kwa unreal ni ile point ame insist umpeleke out lakini hakuna pale utaisikia akisema kama basi utaki kunipeleka out wacha mi basi nitaenda nikulipie unaona hakuna place utaisikia dem amekuambia hivyo unaona na inakuanga very weird that dem ni ana insist umpeleke out yet anajua akifika hapo probably muambie ni aje si basi wewe ulipie anajua hakuna venye anaweza kulipia unajua and sometimes watateta oh wezi nipeleka date ya so wezi nipeleka date ya so mbili na hata wewe kama wezi to hiyo so ulipia chali probably hata kama ni milkshake hata kama ni juu does it really make sense that una insist u chalia kupeleke out and probably wewe wezi mfanyia the same thing unaona so hiyo ni kukuwa very unreal so the other thing na ini very common unaona nga dem an expect to buy expensive gift but yeye yeah, the only gift anaweza kubaiya enye probably amejituma sana ni socks unaona and by the socks ni poor by the way ni nini but hakuna venye anaweza kubaiya necklace ya for so and then naona nionesha ati gift yenye unaweza niletea ni socks siju ya so moja na get it makes sense and sometimes when daddy you know when they drift when they craft ya socks kukufunga tu macho and sometimes wewe umetumia dhao kumbaiya siju nini necklace na kasi juu yaje wewe kwa nataka kuimake kai fit and then yeye amekuja na socks hata kama amekuja na socks pia ngapi imagine kama chalia na kupa expensive gift pia yeye lazima umachio standard unaona isikae ni kama chalia ti every time sasa yeye ni analeta vitu expensive yet wewe the only thing you can buy for him ni socks unaona it doesn't make sense so one thing for sure that itakuonesha that madem anakuanga very unreal ni ile point yenye for her yeye anataka kupendwa as she is unaona mpende venye yako with her with all her flaws with all us juu ni nini wewe mpende tu venye you know venye yako kama chali hivyo ndo ana expect But wewe anytime probably umejaribu ku express kuna venye hauna kado kuna venye una go through aka broke season dem ataki kusikia hivyo na get hapo hata kupenda at as you are hapo ashaanza kujipe shughuli eh kuna venye uchali kuna venye ameshindwa una get and sometimes you're doing your best as the guy but hapo dem hazi kumbuka kukupenda venye uko unaona but yeye hata insist you love me as i am sijui nini nini hata kasi hizo vitu zote sunipende tu venye niko hata chalia kikujia kako broke si pia wewe mpende venye yako una get so hiyo point ya sijui madem ati ile time yenye chali hana kitu fulani ati hapo sasa ndio mapenzi imeanza kwenda down hapana unaona and sometimes that's why unapata chali yes atakuja kupata do atokee u dem juu kuna ka point tu kuna ka point tu wa kidate kuna venye tu alikuwa na mbebanga ujinga unaona kuna venye tu alikuwa na unanga au chali hata hii make tunajua kitu kingine sijai za kuelewa kabisa ni anytime unaambia dem by the dem anaka kukapo ama kuna venye una express hata si dem in particular unaambia but kuna venye tu una express by the dem anafaa kuvaa fiti kuna kuna episode fulani nilisema about venye dem anafaa you know kukuja date kama ka fiti and unapata tu dem yani wana insist oh kama unataka dem yako akae fiti atimbaie nguo unaona and uko hapo unashindwa si wewe unafanya job unaona like wewe sweet pia wewe unafaa kwa na haso yako na get hii idea ya ati chali sasa jua kwa na haso poa ati sasa wacha tu dependie chali pia wewe kwa na haso yako ka dem unajua because i think what my dem wengi usahau ni as much as uchalia na make do poa pia yeye anataka kufund dreams zake unaona kuna kitu anataka kutumia hiyo do nayo do yake yezi kuwa tu ya kuendea anga wewe unajua so anytime probably una feel ati chalia na faku kunibaia ati sasa juu kana nataka nikae poa ama kama apendi style yangu ya fashion yani ana faku nibaia 
zi wewe ni unafaa kujibaia unaona wewe ni unafaa kuchange fashion sense yako and vitu za madem zinakonga cheap compared to za machali so kaa chalia na afford kukaa fiti wewe ni nini na ku you know ni nini na kuzuia na nyinyi mnaweza kupata vitu hata at 100 sijui nini una get especially kama ni thrift so every time una insist that kama chalia nataka uvae poor at ye lazima akuwe na garamika ku, ku you know kukubaia nguo hiyo ni ufala cause at the end of the day hiyo nayo ni expectation umeke umejia ki expectations ziko too high cause um say probably mimi ana za advice chali the minute unafaa kubaya probably kwanza saa ku finance fashion ya demi yako ni ile point yenye umeanza kumari unaona ni ile point yenye ushamuoa but see at hii ati sasa hii time mko dating mko courting scene ati bado ati sasa hapo umeanza kukimbilia kumnunulia nguo zi unajua madam also ana kuanga unreal in this sense Imagine wewe umeingia dating scene umeanza kuingia hapo na umaterialistic wako umeanza kuonesha chali what can you do for me unaona it's about what can you buy for me where can you take me ni vitu gani unaweza ni treat what will happen ni uje at the end of the day nyi madem wenye mna insist kwa materialistic mkumbuke that counterparts wenyu madem wenye wako working class madem wenye wako na job fit au pia ni madem wako on demand na get because hakuna chali anataka dem sumbua hakuna chali mwenye anataka dem atashinanga ati anamwitisha dozi Actually by the penye tumefika Chali anataka also dem mwenye anatafuta do yake. Jo at the end of the day the minute tumeka kwa relationship na jua mnaweza upleta hii pesa yenu pamoja muinvest na kitu. Unaona mbai land mfanye vitu zingine. But hii idea ya mademia atiwe kazi yako ni kukuwa materialistic. Sijui ni nini nini. Imagine usipojifunza ku hustle ama dem mwenye wako working class a wote ndio wanaolewa wewe unabaki hapo na get so changamka unajua kama ni kutafuta do jitafutie do yako unaona na by the way the truth is dem anajua pressure ya kutafuta hiyo pesa dem anajua pressure ya kuhasu dem anajua pressure ya kutengeneza pesa yako wao si dem anaweza kaa chini ya shinanga medisha cha lido zi cuz at the end of the day anajua hiyo uchungu ya kutafuta hiyo do unaona so anytime kaa chali una notice kuna dem ameanza kwa materialistic every other time anakupangia venye utatumia pesa yako kumbamba ama kumfurahisha Just know wewe ni mtu ajui kutafuta pesa. Unaona? Wewe ni mtu ajui like hiyo hasoli ya kupata pesa yako inamaanisha nini. The other thing mnafaa ku change also kama dem ni kujua that anytime unakataa kunipe through pass kwa beshti yako. And probably mi na wetu tumejaribu story haija go through. Kuna venye tu si wote tume realize by the way kuna venye hii story haiendi. And then mimi ona beshti yako anaka fit na kuna venye mimi nime you know kuna venye nimemtamani. And probably in a good way. Maybe yeye atakatua kwa beshti instead uni pay through pass unaanza kuniekea hiyo block ni kama utaki nifikie best yako unaona so hiyo pia ina kuanga unreal cuz at the end of the day hata mimi ukinikujio niambie umependa best yangu fulani nitakupe contact yake unaona ama hata naweza pay ucha li contact mwambie by the way eh udem kuna venye ameniambia na nice na wewe unaona but nyinyi ina kuanga so hard yani kukukupe cha li through pass kwa best yako unashindwa ni kwa nini unajua so tu kwetu real anytime probably stories zetu zija work ni pay through pass kwa best yako unaona The other unreal thing that madem wana insist kufanya and probably hawajui that wamepitwa na wakati ni unajaribu ku play hard to get in a century ama in a world enye machaliwa wame decide by the squeeze atupendi the chase tunapenda ku replace unajua so ujue kidogo machaliwa wame change mindset yao squeeze and kidogo kidogo hata wale wamebaki wenye wana insist oh we love the chase your chase probably anamaanisha kitu kama duration ya one week Probably your chase ana manisha duration ya kitu kama 2 weeks. Una get? But anything beyond that, imagine sasa hapo anaanza ku consider ku replace. And because we are in a connected world, ina manisha hata hiyo dakika yenye mnaongea, hiyo dakika unadhania na kuchase, ashapata mtu mwingine. Unaona? Ashaanza kuongea na mse mwingine. So huko hapo bado unadhania that the chase is on and probably chali alishasimama kuzalisha pata mtu mwingine unaona and obviously hata kuambia una get so anytime ana kuchase and then probably kuingia mtu mwingine in the picture hata kuambia and one thing you should understand ni anytime probably chali ana chase mtu mmoja and then kuingia mtu mwingine kwa picture and then probably umo, mtu mwingine mwenye ameingia kwa picture ame come you know probably unaweza kuna wale tu madem interesting and ana compare wewe na ude man na ude ako more interesting yet yeye kuna venye vibe inaingia na haraka wewe sasa juu umebaki hapo unasema wacha ni chesiwe wacha ni chesiwe kumbe uchali alisha fall of your chest kitambo sana ni venye haujui unaona so baadaye una come realize bado uchali kwa nia linyamazanga kumbe kuna msi alim distract hapa along the way unaona so kadem ni kwa aware that penye tumefika machali would rather replace than chase unajua you know one thing that it to prove that outright madem wa kwangi realistic nile point probably umepanga mpatane and then weka chali kuna venye umeza um, you know umepostpone na sikutaka probably kitu imekaa map ni nini 
So, yes atakwambia yeye ni sawa ni nini nini. But wacha nikwambie anytime wewe kacha leo ume decide to postpone. Yeye hata understand. Na get na wewe kujaribu kutafuta date nyingine ama kujaribu kupata na yeye tena inakuwa bit hard. Unaona? Juku kuna wenye tu anakwangaa mejam na hiyo story. But sasa yeye ana expect anytime ana postpone wewe uelewe. Unaona? So yeye yeah, hataki ku understand ile time yenyewe wewe ume postpone but ile time yenyewe yeye yeah, ame postpone anataka wewe understand. Unaona? So tuko realistic tujue anytime si ame postpone date for whatever reason unafaa ku understand. Unaona? Isikuwe tu ni madem at yeye ki postpone at wewe kacha ali weni unafaa ku understand but anytime wewe kacha ali ume postpone date yenye mko mwenye na dem at yeye zi understand. Unajua? And probably anaanza kukujamia from hapo. Unaona? So also one of the things that is very unreal and utafine madem wengi wanaifanya ni ile point yenye probably pale WhatsApp status kuna venye ume insist oh beshti yako fulani cha ni beshti yako ni nini uko hapo umeanza kumwish happy birthday nini na kuna kitu mbaya na hiyo na get so it's at the point enye probably chali ame post them and probably wamepigwa picha na ye ama ame post tu picha yake ikiwa tu hivyo and pia na ye amwambie happy birthday na unaanza kujam unaona so unashindua una jam nini exactly so already umeanza kuonesha chali attitude just because ame post them mwingine Yet pia wewe kwa WhatsApp stories zako una post machali. Unaona? So it makes sense. So ni either mkiwa kwa hiyo relationship mkubaliane by the kwa WhatsApp story hata heri ni block ile time yenye una post. Unajua una post de mwingine ama unajua una post chali ama nini nini kuliko any time na kwa conflict at wewe ulipostingi chali siku hii uchali yako na yaka rudi yaka post dem sasa ni conflict ya mbono ulimpost ni nini ni unajua so kama mme create ikuwe mutual hakuna kupost chali mwingine ama hata heri uni block from kuona status yako anytime uwe mpost beshti yako mwenye ni of the opposite gender wacha ikuwe hivo but hii idea ya kusema atiweka dem uko allowed kupost chali but anytime chali ya na post dem ina kwa ni issue i make sense unawana So if you are a lady na bado ume stick na hii mentality unafaa ku change cause we are in changing times and the reason for this nasema what i'm saying that you should change your mindset on ni anytime unadhania titalini anafaa ku come up na conversation unaona it shouldn't be like that cause at the end of the day ni wote lazima mko interesting unaona for this thing to work for this relationship to work both of you need to be interesting hata kama wewe ni msiwa maneno kidogo kuna venye lazima ujuange anytime uko na umse na mko ina relationship me decide kwa pamoja as long as ana feel uncomfortable that kuna venye huongeangi sana ama kuna venye utoangi story sana imagine toa cause kama hautakuwa willing kumpe conversation ama utakuwa willing kuendeleza conversation imagine atapata that thing somewhere else unajua so hiyo mentality ya kusema ah ni hata kwa tu anatoa story ni tu atakuwa na drive conversation si poor get to a point yenye una make it feel so comfortable that pia unaweza anza conversation pia unaweza contribute kwa zile vitu mnaongeanga unajua and with that we've come to the end of this episode join me on the next episode next episode nitakuwa kuambia statement girls never want to hear from men sawa so join me on that next episode and kama kawaida Thanks.